All right. So yesterday I did a video of the unboxing of the Apprentice. Box is still over there in my corner of the house. But I said today I would do the assembly of a complete novice, never building one before. And to be fair, I didn't actually read the instructions either. I don't know. They're, they're still prepped. Still taped up in the bag. Legit. Not even, not even open like look. I, <laughs> I don't need instructions. We'll figure it out. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to build this thing. That's pretty cool. It's like a wheelbarrow. I'm going to show you how to build the damn thing. And to be fair, yes, I didn't read the instructions, but I know how. I'm just kind of taking with you all. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to put on the wheels. The back wheel, not the front. The mirror that crooked. Yeah. Anyway, so you get the back wheel here, the one that comes with this. Now they do give you two extra ones that don't have wheels, but that's an extra in case you bend this one, or if you buy the pontoons. So. Actually, I do want the pontoons. I probably will purchase them to be fair. But anyway, you get this wheel. You shove it down nice and tight in there, and that group right there. It'll click on both sides and it'll be flushed. And that's in place. Then you get your bag of goodies. You can go ahead and dump that out. Or not, because gravity is not on my side today. Okay, so now you're going to have these little rubber dudes here. These are backups for something else you'll see in a second, so set those aside. Okay, now you have one more. Okay, so and then these rubber bands we'll use in a second, let's set those aside. Remove before use, and it's in a bag. Okay, well I removed it from the bag. But this is your bind plug, which we're not going to be binding because it it's already bound to the remote that it came with. Okay, so we're going to need these two guys right here, the ones that are set up for the wheels. So you come over here, and you kind of tell how it's in, like it's angled. Well, that's for this to sit in, so it literally sits on top right there, like that. And then, of course, that one goes on that side. Boom. Okay, now I have a bag full of screws, they're all the exact same size, so you can't mess that up. You're going to need a small Phillips, clearly. This one's actually a little big for the job, but it should do. Okay, so I'm going to put the, I'm going to pause it for just a second so I can get the screw started, because without it flopping up on me, so. Okay, so, got them both started. They are in place, holding it down. Now I had to remove the battery cover when I started, just to make sure everything was in there properly. And I'm not going to exaggerate, I had to use a damn pair of pliers because that's some, that lock right there, I don't know. I had to use the might of Thor to break that loose, but anyway, so yeah, they're, they're tight now, good to go. Don't don't crank on them. It's it's literally a metal screw into a piece of plastic. I mean, you know, I they will strip out super easy, and then there really is no way to unstrip it. You either get a bigger screw at that point, or you glue and hope for the best. So tighten them in gently. They don't need to be deathly tight. I mean, it's literally doing its job, just holding it from falling out. So just just, just tighten it a little bit. I mean. You'll be good, you know? Okay, so that's that. Next we're going to install the back rotor. So you flip it over. I'm not going to lie, I don't play it like this. Okay, so next we're going to install this. Now it has these guys right here, which is a clip, right there. And then it has this rubber band right here, which was, it was pulled forward a second ago. But you get that and you slide it backwards, so it's out of your way. And then you can open up this. You know, it, it's separate, you just can't tell, but like it separates. And that is for this, it goes in right there, which allows it to steer. 
and then that one of course too. So yes. So get that one there. Set this one there. Okay, this one goes on top. You literally just get it and you just push it on. Boop, right there. So it's now one piece. Yay. Okay, now that one piece needs to go on top of here through those two holes. That's where these two go. Right there, those two poles. They go down. Boom, boom. Then once you're on the bottom side, you flip it over and you run a screw up. So I'm going to get that set up and I will... You know, once again, I need, I should have, I should have a camera person, geez. Okay, or a tripod. Anyway, I'm going to set that up, and I'll be back in one second. Okay, so here it is, pushed on. Then when, when you get it flipped over, it has the plastic piece right here. You see that's foam, that's plastic. Well, you just literally put the little Phillips screws inside, the ones that it comes with right there. And you're going to need a small Phillips. That one barely fit down into those holes. But you're going to need a pretty small Phillips to fit in there. So if yours isn't, if yours is too big, just get a smaller one. Uh, maybe one of those ones you get with an eyeglass kit or something. I don't even know. Anyway, mine barely fits. So we're good there. So now mine's installed. Nice and tight. Whenever you push that in, you can hear a tiny little audible click. A little... And that's why I knew it was pushed into place. So now it's looking much more airplane-y than before. Now we got these. Okay, okay. So we just have to mount them. Okay, now for this one right here, you have you have four tiny holes here for different adjustments. We're gonna start off with the farthest hole out this way, and we will. You know, throughout time, we'll work our way in to find what we like the best. However, we're going to start with the farthest out one. And then on this side right here, we're going to do the exact same thing. You have four holes up and down right there. We're going to start with the upmost hole. And then as we use it, we'll figure out which hole we like the best. But we're going to start with that. All right, so give me a second to get that pushed into place, and I will show you. Okay. So like I said, all before you have to do is open it, push it on, and then clip it. It, it. it puts up a little bit of a fight, but you want it to be, you know, tight, obviously. Then, after you get those on, you can get these rubber bands right here. Like I said, the little rubber pieces that they give extras over there. Yeah, you get that, and you just push it forward. So that way it gets all, you know, close to the end right here. And it literally holds it tight. It pinches it. I don't know if I can do that with one hand. I will attempt it. Let me see, give a little twist and I'll turn kind of the camera over at the same time. Oops. I'm not gonna lie, that's a stiff boy. You don't have to. Hmm. Alright, set the phone down one more time. Video. Okay. I know it's frustrating, but you just can't do it with one hand. It's just. Poof. Anyway, so now we got the rubber bands pushed forward on both sides. And it's doing its job by keeping it pinched shut. So, honestly, that's basically the hard part done. I mean, poof. I have the battery charging of the room. I couldn't even find the charger that came with this. It literally disappeared. <laughs> Anyway, now this bit here is the big old wing. I'm not exaggerating, it literally stands four and a half foot tall. It's like a beast. Okay, <clears throat> so for this, you're going to want to pull up this piece of tape here. I don't want to do it too crazy when you rip the foam. Or the bloody wires. Just do it like a band aid. Eh. That's some good tape to use. Why can't I find shit that good? Okay. So now here they both say AIL. So it doesn't matter which one goes to which here because the brain of the you know of the airplane will figure it out for you. I don't know how it does it, but it just knows. I guess 
I guess it's probably in here. This one says number one, and that one says number two. So when you plug it in, it automatically reads number one, number two, and it just knows. But anyway, so all I gotta do, and of course, that's another two handed job thing, but you gotta plug these two into those two. And then I'll, I'll plug it in, I'll be right back. Okay, that literally took me like five seconds each. They're both plugged in. So, as far as we're concerned now, we are done with this part. We can mount this. So you want to get it lined up. They have that piece of plastic right there on the wing. And you want that basically in the dead center. Like that. Now you have these Frankenstein looking pins, or Frankenstein's monster I should say. Um, you have two in the front, two in the back, you know, one on each side there. And that's where you get these rubber bands. So we're going to put on six of them. Bam. Now we're start off with an X pattern. If you only go front to back with it, then it has a chance of sliding out a little better, I would think. But if you do an X here or there, it really just kind of kind of beats it up a little bit. So once again, Sally, it's a two-handed job. There's no way to to do it. So once again, another uh, commercial break. <laughs> okay. So as you can see right there, that's number one installed. I just put one on each side just to show you. I mean, if I had a tripod, this would be beautiful because you could see the actual doing, but it's not that hard. Rubber bands are stretchy. I mean, I'm sure y'all can figure that out, but so I got the first one in an X pattern, and that really, I mean, by itself, that's just cherry. I mean, you couldn't even, you know, like it is strong. To be fair, if you're going to do some jungle flying, you'd probably just fly with that alone. But... We don't want the wing to come off in the middle of the sky. That would be uh, devastating. <laughs> so we have a couple more here. We're going to put them on. So, so the first we go with an X. Then I'm going to go with a straight on each side. And then we'll go with an X on top of that to hold them all in place. So I'm going to show you the finished product next. Okay, so this right here is the finished product. That is six rubber bands. We have two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, we have four in there. So, so we go X straight and then X on top. Now I'm not gonna lie, they're hard to get on there. The especially the last two. I don't know why they just seem to get, keep getting harder and harder. Um, don't try not to push down on it when you're putting them on, because I found myself doing that, and I was like, uh oh, we don't want to push the legs up into the plastic or break something. Um, it's definitely good to have somebody holding it in the air maybe, but darn. Anyway, that is the finished product and now that thing is very much on there. It is a little heavy in the rear right now, but that's without the battery installed or the door there. But uh, the battery is at 90% charge right now, so technically that is the install video. I mean, we got the double A's here, which of course clip in the bottom so I mean I think we're all you know fairly confident how to do that so I'll skip that <clears throat> anyway um yeah we literally mount these here there's a compartment there I guess it's for a different type of battery to be honest I don't know what the hell that's for but it takes these anywho that is the installation of the video it is ready to fly so as soon as my battery is fully charged we will do the uh, the maiden flight video. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the install watch. If you did, thank you.